Hello, my name is Asabuel. Today we are going to join this character using Rigedit. Okay, Rigedit for Roblox, okay, to make the skeleton for this character that we made in a previous video, in a live video. Okay, so we were making this bonbon. Okay, well, the idea to join this is as I told you, you have to use Rigedit. Okay, well, if you don't have your plugin, okay, so, oh, yeah, because they updated the Roblox, you have to go here to plugins, then you go to Rig edit oh. Rig, let me check it like this yes so we have Rig edit plus and Rig edit light I have Rig edit plus because I bought this thing but you can use Rig edit light I'm going to use Rig edit light this is the one that most of you use because it is free okay so no problem so well we have Rig edit we are going to select this and then we have our mesh the first thing that you have to do is to add a humanoid root part this is mandatory then we are going to add another part that is the humanoid root part i mean the other one is the humanoid and then i'm going to create a part inside the model and this part it's going to be the humanoid root part we're going to rename it like this humanoid root part that's it then we are going to place it so something like me try to do it like that so we go here, then we go here, uh, almost like this, covering these parts. So mine doesn't have any legs, so I guess there is no problem for this. Also, I just have one torso. In my case, I'm going to add another torso, that it's going to be an invisible torso, just to have some uh, control over the character, maybe. Uh, or not. No, yeah, I guess I'm going to skip this part. I'm just going to leave it like this. Then I'm going to make the human root part transparent. And then I'm going to select the model. Bonbon. And then the main part or the primary part is going to be the human root part. That's it, okay? Now the next step is just to rename everything, okay? I'm going to rename all the parts in here. So I'm going to start here. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so well, I have renamed all the parts inside this, and now we are going to use here select the model, boom, boom, and then the plugins, rig edit, and then we are going to start connecting everything. Okay, remember the connection like the main part, it's going to be selected first as part zero, and part one, it's going to be the part that it's going to be like moving or depending on this part. One example is this. Okay, well, the first you start like a human root part. It's going to be connected to the lower torso or to the upper torso depending on your model so in this case i create a joint it is not necessary to adjust this one because it's with the human root part now the other thing that you need to do it is this one that is in here okay so i'm going to connect the upper torso so this is my part uh, zero or one and then the next part it's going to be the left upper arm left upper arm if you create this thing okay so you create joint then you just adjust 0 0.01 okay just to move freely this connection and then you just put it here and that's it okay now there are some parts that are not movable in my model for example this okay this ribbon or whatever you call it so you select first the upper part, it's going to be the main part, okay? And this thing is going to be attached. So we press Ctrl and then we create a weld. And then now it's pasted to the model, okay? So, and then we continue making the skeleton for our character. I'm going to create first one, these ones, and then I'm going to stop the, the pause the video, okay? So I go here with left upper arm, left upper arm, we look for left upper arm. And this is going to go with left upper arm, left lower. We create join, then we just adjust this to the center of where the elbow should be. Okay, then I'm going to select the lower left lower arm and it's going to be connected with the left hand. In this case, I have left hand and that's it. And then we just create a join because it's going to be like moving a uh, movable part and that's it. Now I have these parts that are these uh, spheres, they are not going to be, they are going to be attached or weld. 
Okay, so in this case, to the upper torso, I'm going to attach this one, okay, that I rename it as left shoulder. So the left shoulder, it will be just like static. Left shoulder, I look for left shoulder in my model, and it's going to be static, okay? And then I'm going to do the same for this. Uh, this one is going to be attached to the left lower uh, upper arm. Okay, so in this case, left upper arm, left upper arm. And then I'm going to select this one and then left upper arm one. And that's it. And then I just continue making this until we have the skeleton. Oh we have the arms okay so if you want to try to test the rig because it is not finished you can go here to uh, animation editor okay then you select this you create an animation and then you try the uh, joints that you made so for example here but here we have this one it is working correctly it's here and it's fully functional okay so, well obviously the lower torso it will be just like this because it is the main part i need to connect here in this case check for example the belly i need to attach the belly to the low, uh, upper torso and also the bottom but it is working most mostly okay now these parts i need to start with the head okay so if we just leave this and then again select the model then rehead it and then we start connecting everything so for example the upper torso it goes with this thing with the head the head is going to be like the part the upper part that i have uh, it is separated but it doesn't matter i create a joint then i just move this joint here where the neck should be okay so probably over there it is fine okay then i'm going to connect the jaw Okay, in this case, that I said more mouth down, but it's the jaw. Okay, so uh, this is the main part, and the mouth down is the jaw. I'm going to create here a joint, and now because this is the joint the, for the jaw, I'm going to move it over here and probably over here. Okay, so that's it. Now I'm going to paste, okay, the mouth or the jaw with the teeth, okay, with the lower teeth. So I guess I have over here lower teeth and this is going to be well. And then I continue doing the same thing until I finish the head. Okay, well, I enter again to the animation editor, okay, to check what are the missing connections. In this case, I have the head, I have the jaw. Well, the jaw is here. I have this head and the head is moving the nose and the rest of the parts, okay. So this is like the way you make it, okay? So the head is connected to the torso, okay? So the jaw is connected to the head, but it's a joint. It is not like weld, okay? Well, the teeth, yes, they are welded. They just are welded, okay? The eyes are independent, just if I have to add some kind of movement like this, okay? So, but it's just like that. Now we are missing the ears. For the ears, it's the same process. I'm going to first connect the head to this to the first one okay uh, to this part to the blue one now the white part it's going to be welded to the ear and then this first part of the ear it's going to be connected with the upper part of the ear in a joint okay in that way we can rotate this thing and then the white part in the upper part it's going to be welded to this blue part or purple part okay so let's make just uh, the little part the first part so I go here and then I just select, for example, the head. This is my main part. And then I'm going to select the left, uh, left lower ear, left lower ear. So let's go for the left. Okay, well, this is the left lower ear that I haven't renamed. Okay, so well, I select first this, uh, the head and then the left lower ear. Then I create a joint and then I just move this thing a little bit, a little bit up because it's going to spin or from this position. Try to center it, more or less looks okay. Then I'm going to go here to the left lower ear 
and I'm going to attach this kind of white thing, okay? Create a well, and that's it. Now, the left lower ear needs to be the main part of this second part, that is the left upper ear. So, again, we create here a joint. I do the same. I take it down, place it more or less in the center, more or less in all the views or axis, and that's it. And now the upper part of the ear, uh, left lower, the left upper ear, it's going to be with the, another, the second part, okay? We create a weld over there, and that's it. Then we go to animation editor, we select this thing, and then we are now moving this part. Also, this other part, that is pretty cool. Okay, now we are going to repeat the process with the right ear. Okay, so now after we do the same, we go here to the animation editor to check that everything is okay. We select the other ear, it's moving. Then we select the other one, it's moving. Now we move the head, all the parts are together. We move the jaw, we have the jaw. Also we check the arms, also the arms are okay. Then we check the torso torso is moving but not the belly so this is just a simple thing that we need to do the belly so we select here we go here and then we just go for torso 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 upper torso and it looks for the belly and we just weld this thing now we enter again to editor and it's working normally and that's the way we rig a character using rig edit. This is the free version, okay? So you don't have any excuse to not start making your own characters and rigging them with this professional tool, okay? Just, I use the free version. Okay, my name is Asa, and I hope that this tutorial was useful for you. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.